Expensive public relation campaigns have turned the Academy Awards into a popularity contest, but the Oscars are still important because they get people to watch good movies that they might otherwise overlook. 1917, the frontrunner for Best Picture, is a stunning drama that pulls the audience into the trenches and onto the battlefields of World War I. The film is shot and edited to look like one continuous shot from beginning to end and the nearly unknown pair of actors who play the ordinary soldiers at the center of this compelling movie made me feel both their fear and their determination. Marriage Story isn't going to win Best Picture, but it's my favorite film of 2019. Starring Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, it's an honest and powerful depiction of the painful experience of divorce. The movie shows how one couple's pain increases dramatically once lawyers get involved. Showing only on Netflix, the only award marriage story is likely to earn is supporting actress for Laura Dern as the wife's lawyer. Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is, as many have described it, a love letter to the Hollywood of the late 1960s, featuring a crowd-pleasing performance by Brad Pitt, who's the favorite in the Best Supporting Actor race. This almost irresistible film probably won't win Best Picture, but it might win Best Original Screenplay. In the Best Actor category, the frontrunner is Joaquin Phoenix for The Joker about a pathetic, would-be comedian who goes completely berserk. I had a hard time watching The Joker, but I have to agree that Phoenix was entirely convincing in the title role. But my first choice would be Adam Driver in Marriage Story. Driver had to turn himself inside out to play the desperate husband whose wife is leaving him. For Best Actress, I'm torn between frontrunner Renee Zellweger, who plays Judy Garland in the biopic Judy, and Scarlett Johansson in Marriage Story. Johansson truly embodied both her character's strength and sadness, and Zellweger's vulnerability in Judy melted my heart. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.